Hi, this is Lynn Ward. I'm a children's author and today I thought I'd like to read another story to you. This one is called Sally Snickers Knickers. It's a funny title, isn't it? I wonder what it's all about. This one was illustrated by Anthea Steed. Sally Snickers Snickers by Lynn Ward and Anthea Steed. There's something very special about little Sally Snickers. For Sally never wears a hat. She'd rather wear her knickers. She doesn't always wear her shoes. And she often wears odd socks. She wears her jumpers inside out. But she always wears her jocks. She wears... Jones like a turban. Do you think we can wear these like a turban? Hmm. Oh. How's that? Almost like Sally Snickers. She wears lycra when she's biking. Oh. Does that look like Sally Snickers on her bike with her lycra on her helmet? She wears white cotton tails for tennis. Just perfect. And why fronts when she's hiking? She slips on satin boxes. When she's ready for a rest, she even has a floral pair to match a fancy vest. And she is in her floral hat, knickers, boxes, and her fancy vest. And who's this? This is her friend, the puppy dog. He's wearing knickers on his head too. <laughs> when it's time for her to go to school, she whizzes out of bed and ties her favourite undies in a knot around her head. There's the little dog looking at himself in the mirror. He's checking out his undies on his head. <laughs> As she arrives in class, the teacher lifts a hand. I hate your knickers, Sally Snickers. Your undies have been banned. You can't wear undies on your head, even if they're frilly. I don't think they're funny. In fact, they're very silly. Goodness me. Sal knows that knickers on her head might seem a bit offbeat. She's happy being different and her undy hats are sweet. But the teacher says she shouldn't have her knickers on display. And unless she wears a proper hat, she's not allowed to play. 
torso. Her friends are upset. It isn't fair, says Charlotte. It isn't right, says Sue. But Mia has a good idea. I know what we can do. When Sal arrives at school next day, she can't believe her eyes. When she comes into the classroom, she hears a loud surprise. Sal looks around her first this way and then that. Every single classmate wears knickers, not a hat. Look at them all in their different undies and jocks and knickers all on their heads. Every single one. The teacher doesn't like it, but she knows she's lost the fight. She waves her arms up in the air. Okay, she says, all right. So now at school each Thursday, or well, thanks to Sally's knickers, there are stacks of wacky hats, all boxes, jocks and knickers. And you might see every now and then, despite what she once said, the teacher sitting at her desk with undies on her head. I hope you liked that story. This was for Chris, Mark, Mitch and Katie because they inspired the Sally in me. I hope you have someone that inspires the Sally in you because it's okay to be a little bit different, isn't it? Bye for now. See you next time.